How can stem cell prolotherapy or bone marrow prolotherapy help with articular cartilage defects? Well, the hope is that the articular cartilage defect will get less or the bone marrow prolotherapy or stem cell prolotherapy will help it repair. So when we say that, think about all the things that has to happen to repair an articular cartilage defect. Like one is you have to have the cells that will grow the cartilage. So the cells that grow the cartilage are called chondrocytes. Those chondrocytes then have to make extracellular matrix, which makes up the cartilage. Then the cartilage that's formed has to be hyaline cartilage, which is normal cartilage versus fibrocartilage, which isn't as strong and resilient. Then the hyaline cartilage that's made, it has to be strong enough that you, know, you can jump up and down on your knee or your hip, you can run, you can walk, you know, so it, it's a lot more complicated than just grow a whole bunch of cartilage cells like in a lab and then inject those cartilage cells. It's much, much more complicated than that. And the office here believes that the body knows best. So what we do is in situ uh, stem cell prolotherapy or bone marrow prolotherapy where we inject the healing factors, the bone marrow cells directly into the knee and believe that the knee joint in situ or in its natural environment knows what's best and will complete the task of repairing or growing cartilage. And we're trying to document this, not only do the folks get back to their normal activities, but also do their x-rays improve.